Planting wheat is part of this state's earliest history, and it will play a part in the future of a planet that's consuming more food every day. Oklahoma farmers would welcome new Cuban sales. While that nation is only 0.3% of the world market, it certainly won't hurt. If we open those uh, Cuban markets, we will definitely uh, pick up some demand there. We've got comparative advantage on transportation. Uh, we're even uh, probably $10 a, a ton, metric ton, cheaper than, say, out of Argentina. Oklahoma farming is a lot more than what goes on between your fences. You'd better be aware of everything from South America to Russia and Kazakhstan. The value of the dollar and the, and the, and the Black Sea markets uh, have been really hurting us on our export sales. And then you've got Nigeria and Egypt wanting to grow more of their own grain and not rely on uh, imports from us mostly. It's hard to imagine, but from his farm near Ponca City, Don Scheiber tracks the world's markets. To help improve his odds, some of his land is used by Oklahoma State researchers to test new varieties. He plays every angle because farming is risky. You won't find a high roller in any casino who has more nerve than a wheat farmer. Well, I've got nine of them here within 25 miles of my house, and I've been in two of them just to eat. So I, I do enough gambling out here, I don't need to go to a casino. As the seeds went in this fall, the farmers ended up again and bet on the future. They're also aware they have a responsibility to a hungry world. Despite several years of drought and price problems, they have faith in their product and their ability to ship to a world market. The Oklahoma and the hard red winter wheat area, we have a great reputation for high quality bread flour wheat. Every year the farmers are hoping for the best possible yield and the best taste at the bakery. Researchers at OSU are working to get that done. They'll tell you we need to double our production by about the middle of the century because a lot more people are coming to dinner. It's the inspiration that drives what we do in this program because we know that we, we can't get worse. There's no going back. We, can only, we must get better in producing this, the food that we're raising. They're using genetics to improve the farmer's odds and output with custom varieties for Oklahoma. Each one takes 12 years to develop and the world's population is growing fast. We're looking over our shoulder right now and uh, I mean, the, the game is on now. You know, we, we need to be preparing for 2050, 2060 today. And I think the universities across the United States realize that. Fortunately, they're just scratching the surface on crop genetics that offer tremendous potential, while the farmers continue to roll the dice every fall despite the hazards. You never know what's liable to happen during the day. Are you gonna have a bad storm that's gonna take everything you got and blow it away? Or are you gonna fall off a truck and kill yourself? You just never know when, when something good or bad is gonna happen. The crop went in last month and they'll be harvesting in early summer. Let's hope they keep at it. By 2060, there will be about 10 billion of us ready for that next meal. Charles Ely, Tulsa's Channel 8.